I know many of you will sit there and say, well, you just don't like Cody Rhodes and you never have and you never will. And that's not entirely true. Before about February 2018, I actually spoke relatively well of him, relatively high of him. I think you could go back and look at videos and tweets from the past before 2018 and find that I wasn't like hating on him to an excessive degree. I wasn't knocking him too much. There are certainly times you go back and look and found that I said positive things about him. But yeah, after 2018, um, I'll never like have much respect for him or appreciate him or like him as a performer. I'm just not going to. I certainly don't respect the man. Basically, everything I said about him was proven to be true. Like, he's a fucking liar. He's a snake. I wouldn't trust him with your money, let alone mine. Like, he's full of shit. Like, even if you want to be a fan of him, that's fine. But to sit there and deny that he's full of shit is just crazy. But what I also won't do, and you can't say that I've done, even though I feel like I could be justified, for those that say I only hate on him, that is absolutely not fucking true over the past five plus years, nor can you say I have, and anybody that does is a disingenuous fuckstick. And as far as we talk about hating on somebody, with my history and some of the people that I've hated on over the years, don't you dare sit there and say that I hate this son of a bitch to the same level as some of the other fucks. What the hell are you talking about? But what I'm not going to do is sit here and pretend like he's some talentless bum or wrestling hack. Physically, he looks close enough to be a main event talent. You know, unlike a 90% plus of the industry today, he can actually talk on the mic. He can actually cut a promo. I know crazy concept in wrestling, right? He can work different styles of matches with different opponents. Like, he's a solid performer. Years back, I used to call him a bit of a poor man's Rick Rude, and I didn't mean that as an insult. I meant that as a compliment, because I've always held Rick Rude on a very high plane of perspective when it comes to as an overall wrestling talent. And for me to even mention Cody Rhodes, even saying he's the poor man's version, like, that's no slight at all. And I still hold to some degree that's who he is like. But of course, as time goes along and the standards of professional wrestling get lower and lower all the time, and now that Cody Rhodes has been back in WWE for a couple of years now, and based off of what happened at WrestleMania this year, you've got wrestling fans wanting Cody Rhodes to be a world champion. Humbug your ass! I can't imagine fans sitting there and saying, I want this lame ass got neck tattoos I've ever seen as my world champ. I can't understand why fans think this guy should be the one to beat Roman Reigns. Like of all the people. Well, it's time to do somebody else. He's like the same fucking age as Roman. Roman's been champion so long. You're gonna throw it all to Cody Rhodes? Finish the story. And then what the fuck are you going to do? And what the hell is finish exactly? The whole premise of finish the story is stupid. And then the outcome from finish the story is stupid. Additionally, what exactly about Cody Rhodes is relatable or likable? He is undeniably a silver spoon type of cat that benefited from nepotism in the industry. It's disingenuous to pretend that he hasn't. He tries to put on this phony face, of course, like he didn't or still doesn't, but it's Cody Rhodes, so, you know, expecting him to be honest about anything is a fucking miracle, because it ain't happening. So many things he does, he tries to latch onto his dad and his dad's legacy and his half-brother and his half-brother's legacy. Like even earlier in the year when he's going back and forth with Roman Reigns, it's like, are you trying to win this for yourself? Or are you trying to win this because of your dad or your, your half-brother? Like, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Are people that drawn to lying, insecure babies nowadays? Like, what the fuck is it? What is it? There really is nothing relatable or likable about him. You take away the generic-ass, lame-ass theme song, 
where people could go, whoa, and then what do you got? And even then, let's be honest, does that theme song really strike you as a guy that feels like a world champion? Does he really? Humbug your ass. This guy is so much like damn John Cena, it's crazy. He refuses to try and be the character that he should be, always wanting to work against the grain, meanwhile fully having the support and protection of the WWE machine, trying to push and ultimately force the shit out of him and forsaking other talents for the sake of propping him up. That's all he is, is the new fucking prop for WWE. And here's my thing. If you want somebody like John Cena so damn much to be the next champion, then why not have the real deal fucking do it? Don't give me the great value version of John Cena as world champion. Give me the real John Cena as world champion. What the hell's wrong with everybody? I mean, the story is about him. The finish the story shit is about him winning the belt then that needs to come with a full character turn of like he's so desperate and so pathetically addicted to the thought and consumed by the thought of becoming world champion and beating Roman Reigns, he will do whatever, and I mean whatever it takes. And he goes full villain, and he becomes the line manipulative asshole that he ultimately is, and that would be fantastic because it would be real, because it would be believable. Him? Something different for the fans? Not him trying to be an insecure ass baby face and afraid of people booing him. Like I legitimately think this guy now has gotten to a point in his career where he is so sensitive that he's afraid of getting booed. Like legitimately terrified of it. Which sucks because if he really wanted to, he could be the hottest heel in the fucking business. And him doing some type of like a massive character change or something? to finish the story. Now that I could understand, but instead, one way or another, we're staring down the barrel of WrestleMania 40 next year in fucking Philadelphia. They're gonna force him as a goddamn baby face, try to make him this relatable, likable, gotta get behind him hero so he can finish the fucking story. Then he's gonna win the fucking belt and it's gonna be lame. You're still gonna have a lot of people talk about, you sure you went in last year, it's a year too late. Meanwhile, ignoring the fact, no, it's just lame fucking period because it's Cody Rhodes. And then once he is champion, he's gonna have the belt way too long and he's gonna have lame ass feuds, blah, 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 blah. I wish we held the mantle of being a world champion to a higher standard. When I look at Cody Rhodes, I see a guy that works with the guy that draws the money at the top, not the guy at the top that draws the money. Cody Rhodes working with the Roman Reigns, that works. He's working with the guy that now draws the money. But him being the guy, eh. like all of this just seems off. Like you say, earlier this year, it certainly felt like LA Knight was more over. There's an argument to be made. Meanwhile, for Roman Reigns to have been champion for so long, if you're going to beat him, it needs to have a real purpose. This is the type of thing that you're setting up the next generation. I understand you think Cody Rhodes and his stupid face and his dyed hair can't even fucking be his real hair color anymore. This is just like everything else about him. He's fucking phony. Like, he can sit there and he can go in the media appearances like The Miz and he can play nice and he can be a clean corporate representative. And I understand for Titan Tower Machine, that's appealing. I get that. I do. I really, really do. But motherfucker. Like, he is not the future face of the place for the next decade. And to have had a guy be champion for three and a half years the smartest, most responsible thing to do for the company for the short and especially long-term future is to have somebody that can potentially be the face of the place for next decade, be the guy. Like even if you go so far if you want to say Cody Rhodes was really over, if we're going to use the he's just over aspect, 
then Sami Ray, Sami Zayn should have been the one to beat him last year at WrestleMania. He should have gotten the WrestleMania shot because Sami Zayn was certainly more over in a more meaningful way last year than Cody Rhodes has ever been in WWE. I don't give a fuck what you say. And there was way more story involved with Sami Zayn in the bloodline. Way more that you could do. But of course, they had to hotshot Sami Zayn shit in Elimination Chamber because you couldn't stop the Cody Rhodes momentum. And fuck, there you go. So I know come WrestleMania next year, a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this. I won't fucking be one of them. They're going to be giggly tits about this finish this story and it's going to be dumb. It's going to be dumb. Cody Rhodes is a world champion. Humbug! You're at.